Hi guys, hello and welcome to yet another episode of Project Perfumery India. It is me, Mohit here. Today I am presenting a series which I started around three months back and I saw a lot of interest because what these brands do, the designer brands and the niche brand, they keep coming up with their uh, iterations. When I say iteration, that means 2016 version, 17 version or in our Fracom slang language, it's called Flankers. So we did spoke about one man show flankers, the Bogart flankers. Each of them had like 12, 12 various. Imagine how buyers, how confusing would it be for buyers? But then, in order to survive and to do more of an upsell or a repeat sell, uh, the brands do this. Once they launch a normal version, they come up with intense version, then they come up with something else. So, yeah, so this is another very popular line which a lot of people ask me. To a review so here we go these are again flankers from a jewelry house which is called Bulgari so you it's, it's B V L G A R I but when you pronounce it it's simple Bulgari this is you or we so they came up with a fresh very unique looking bottle this was their first bottle in the collection it's called uh, Bulgari Aqua and especially this bottle drew a lot of attention because it looked like a saucer or a UFO or rather say a pebble or a simple a marine element sort of thing and this became an instant hit because there was a market when there was cool water aqua di Gio, and this definitely I would say was the third most popular aquatic fragrance so what was so special about it why uh, this actually was the variant which brought this house into the mainstream so let's try it this is bulgari aqua the original version and it's got nice and sweet comforting slightly creamy i would either say it's more fresh creamy vibe i should stop saying this word vibe in fact i have noticed that a lot of people have started reviewing like that the vibe what's the vibe so rather let's say a chord it, it would be more Technical. So what I get out of it is a straight of slight milky salty aquatic accord from it Which gives a really nice comforting aura around you and it does smells like a sea breeze not exactly a sea breeze But because that I detect more in the next variant we'll be talking about I would say this is like a perfect scent for an office setup. It, it's not too fresh like cool water so that it feels soapy, it doesn't have lavender at all or it's not like Aqua Di Gio which is with, you get this, many people get this eggy white from it which is a big turn off. So this one is actually uh, better of all these two versions. If you like cool water, if you like Aqua Di Gio DNA, this is a definite must for you to check out. It's Bulgari Aqua. And price wise, if it goes around 3000 to 3500 in India, uh, on discounters mostly, so it's a great value for money as well. And this gives a decent performance of 4 to 5 hours, which is for a freshly cool water nowadays is like 2 hours. Aqua did you, I would say, 4 hours. This one gives 4 to 5 hours. Next one I'll be talking about in the same line is called Poor Home Marine. What I'm trying to do here is actually compare them batch wise as well so if you see these are the new boxes which has uh, the lines on them before that they used to come in boxes like these which were like matte finish so this is a 30 ml bottle of around 2012 batch or even before it's quite beaten up but yeah vintages it's tough to find the intact bottles so this one I find more fresh then you know I'm not getting that sweeter white from it while it's straight off it's maybe it's too old so that uh, the notes might have gone off so I really do not see any bash difference in the aqua line so far next one I was talking is uh, next variant which is again the most popular in the whole line it's called aqua marine it comes in various sizes of bottles I have two sizes as of now and wow look at how it is it looks like the marbles we used to play with it shines like those right so this one let's spray and let's try the other batch I have which is a huge a bigger aquatic element I love these bottles 
uh, normally we do on our store we do get store testers and in those cases we have those tanks as well which are a great utility actually if Bulgari puts those you know the stands in the retail packs it would be really good so Bulgari if you're listening do give us those stands with retail packs as well not just with the tester so let me this one is slight yellow maybe because it's too old and it's like clear so I, I smell this one and I did get faint marine notes but I think fresh scents there is a thumb of rule guys the fresh scents usually lose the top or the citric elements with time while the woody, mossy, leathery, oud these gets uh, you know better with time oh bye chukkarla awaz aari hai mic mein so uh, cut maadhi fit start kar diya nahi hua part ja door se aari thi start kar lo kya ho are awaz aari thi isme stop karo nahi stop se ke start right so marine as the name says it's more salty and I, it has the same vibe, but at the same time, this has got this zing to it, which, which actually smells like, you know, a breeze walking down the sea and you're getting that salty marine vibe. I, I like this slightly more, but uh, this one I would prefer on a chill out day. And that one I would prefer probably on an office setup. The third and fourth in the whole line, they actually came up with yet another flanker. So let me quickly show you both of them and let's see what's the difference in them. So this one is called Aquatonic and this one is Aquamarine Tonic. Now both of these are discontinued. So you would see a bottle slight, uh, this faded slightly here. This one is almost perfect. Because this was, I, I think this were uh, released back in 20. 13 or 14 because that's the time when I started selling and that's the time I saw them and after that they were not there. So what I explain right now is the Aquatonic. So what this has got is a very interesting gin and tonic vibe. I think that is the idea behind the name as well that to the original Aqua DNA they have added this boozy note which is so clean at the same time boozy and that's the gin note. Imagine a white spirit, a slight sweet spirit, slight so salty how it smell like. So it's it's actually for people who like more sharper openings would like this coming to marine was already salty. Let's see what marine and tonic smells like or right. So this one I'm getting more of a pungent boozy side tonka to it. I don't know whether it's supposed to be there. But yeah, I'm getting this tonka wipe from it. I said wipe again. I'm getting this tonka accord from it. So yeah, so this one uh, leans more towards the masculine side while this uh, marine notes along with the tonic, the boozy notes might uh, smell a little bit uh, metallic like how Azaro Chrome is. But this one has got this slight undertone of tonka to it, which I detect. So and I prefer in the whole line, in the previous one I liked marine better, in this one I like the aqua tonic better. So the best part, these 50 mls, we have put on perfumery for an amazing price of around uh, $14.99 or $20 and these are discontinued. So if you guys are watching this early, go pick it up because we really do not have many and these would sell out very quick. The next one is the latest one. I did skip uh, one more, one edition which is called Aqua Amara is sold out everywhere, uh, it was hyped up, some people didn't like it, some people like it, so yeah, this one is more the recent one, this is also popular, it's called Aqua Atlantic, Atlantic I guess, uh, they've added more ambergris to it, it's like grapefruit to it, that's why they've added this name Atlantic, so it has, people compare it to Sauvage, people compare it to Dylan Blue, let's see, how does it smell? So this gives me more of a uh, Blue Tishanel vibe right now. Accord right now. Grapefruit Accord right now. And yeah, it's, it reminds me straight of my bottle of Prodigy Find. This, this, is, this is like a uh, Blue Tishanel perfume version. This smell like really, really close. Coincidentally, the shade also matches here. So this one is going for about 2250 in India. 50 ml and this is also going for around 
20 to 50 for a 50 ml. So this was about the Aqua series. I hope uh, it, it might help you in choosing one of them. If you are an old classic freshy lover, go for the original one. It's like all time best. It, it never fails. If you are an outgoing person, not office setup, but more like a evening setup, Sunday setup, go for Aqua Marine. And for the sake of collection, if you like these, you want slight variation to it, you have already been using these, you can pick up the tonic version. Or if you're a perfume collector, you love to collect uh, vintage perfumes, ton a tonic would be a good option for you, provided we are selling it for about 1500 bucks. And Aqua Atlantic, the Sauvage Lovers, if you like Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, uh, Lavender Blue, this would be for you. It is slightly cheaper from all the ones I named right now. This one would cost you about 3500 to 4000 for Atlantic 50 ml going for 2500 I don't think any of these, uh, like Dylan Blue is also costly, 5000 plus. Sauvage is 8000 plus. Blue de Chanel is 10000 plus. So this is a really good, if you are brand conscious as well, you get a really nice alternative. Even brands make alternative. Yeah, if that's, that's like the truth. So this is the Sauvage. Uh, on budget and still holding the tag. So next line I'll be discussing is uh, from the same house, I might post it later or before, is the Poor Home series. So when I said Aqua actually got this brand into the whole boom era, this is where they actually started. These were not, these were popular uh, but then not, like, not, not successful like these. And now there's another line Man in Black which is also huge hit while well, they had man man extreme which i won't be discussing here so it's more checking out see ya okay. hmm?